Good morning, Mr. Peter, Ibuharunda, parents, teachers, and fellow graduates. First and foremost, I would like to thank the committee for granting me the wonderful opportunity to speak during this glorious moment. I have given my fair share of speeches during my time here at SPH, but today is different because this time will actually be my last. As you all may have known, I have been a student at SPH for 12 years, and 12 years is a long time. 12 years is 4,380 days. That's 105,210 hours. Sorry for the math. But I spent most of that time with the people you see before you. Imagine that. The fact is, I have had such an overwhelmingly fantastic period of time with these amazing individuals that I no longer consider them as my classmates, but rather as my family. I guess Espeha is joking when they say that this will be our second home. With this in mind, I hope you all can understand how I find it impossible to fit in the highlights of my 12 years here in Espeha within, within a single five minute speech. There are just too many memories. Each person here tells a different story. For example, when I look at Randy, where are you? Ren? Yeah, when I look at Randy being all dapper and handsome here, I remember in fourth grade when he cried because I, I told him on to the teacher. And when I see Adia, I remember during second grade we all got into trouble because we thought it was a good idea to bend all the utensils in the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> or when I see Melvin, who can remember how all the girls were crazy about him during <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with this. <laughs> but you get my point. This list could go on forever for each and one of these wonderful people. To those of you who aren't familiar with who the class of 2013 is, let me paint a picture for you. We grew up with each other. The teachers call us the party class because every day is a party. We're fun-loving, loud, and sometimes annoying teenagers. But we embrace that to the fullest every single day. We fought our battles together. We were warriors in a single battalion. It was us against the world. We insisted on being winners. When we fell, we got back up again. When we cried, we sucked it up and moved on. Most importantly, we always had, have had each other's backs. In the words of the great Julius Caesar, we came, we saw, and we conquered. Class of 2013 is legend, wait for it, for the awesomest class in the whole wide world, Dare. <laughs> right now, we're on top of the world. This is our proudest moment. We started at the bottom, now we're here. We're actually graduating high school, the hardest parts of our lives so far. But guys, Although we won the battle, the war is not yet over. Soon, we have to start our individual lives in what people call the real world. It will be challenging, even frightening. But do not be afraid. Take risks, be wise in your decisions, embrace change for it is inevitable, be open-minded and loving, be passionate people. Try your hardest in everything, and you will be the best. Finally, and most importantly, dream bigger. From now on, the only way is up. My beautiful mom is constantly reminding me of one important life lesson, to stay humble. With humility, I realized that neither my friends nor I would be up here without the constant love and support of many different people. Firstly, I would like to thank God, for without His wisdom and love, we would not be here in the first place. Second, I would like to thank our parents, who work hard day and night just so we can be the best. Mom and Dad, we know we don't say this often, let alone show it, but we love you. And there is nothing stronger than our desire to make you proud. Third. I would like to thank our very patient teachers. We're sorry for the days we were out of control, which was almost every other day. 
Mr. Scott is working there. <laughs> but just stuck with us. And we will not be half the people we are now without you. You will always be our heroes. Anyway, there is nothing we will miss more that from high school than Mr. Scott's voice yelling, Seniors, get to class! <laughs> After break time every day. Sorry, Pat Scott, you know we love you. Finally, I would like to give a special shout out to my best friends. You know who you are. They say there is a thin line between love and hate. And you guys make it so difficult sometimes, but you make my life colorful. So this is it. Congratulations, class of 2013. We did it. Good luck, everyone. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, thank you.